So I started at UPM about a year, year and four months ago, and a few months later, Blaine started, and then a few months later, well, I guess even a few weeks. Yeah, about a, a week and a half. Yeah, a week yeah. Then LA started, right. and somehow within, like, when we all came together, we, like, crossed paths a bunch during our, our duties, during our daily jobs. Right. We all just formed this amazing friendship. Uh, it's the lab. It, <laughs> L-A-B, the lab, <laughs> you know, we're the lab, the lab. we're the, we're the lab, yeah. yeah. Yes. But, you know, there was, I don't know if there was like a specific moment, if you guys know of one, like when we really just bonded and kind of set the stage for like where we're at now, or all super close. When I came on, I wasn't actually, we weren't on the same team. Right. Yeah. I don't think we've actually ever really technically been on the same team until um, we created the culture team. Yeah. And then we right, right. So I've been kind of a liaison between marketing and culture, right, the yeah. entire time, yeah. and I still am, <laughs> which yeah. and I'm perfectly fine with that. Well, we 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 kind of had to lead it together. Your social right. media promotions right, right. and yeah. you know yeah. the staff. So we kind of all lead it. But right. I think that what started the bond between us was our height. Our height. We were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's we a good one. We were tall. tall. We, looked <laughs> we looked over everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I think that we were thrust into a world we didn't know anything about. We yeah. weren't from the mortgage very industry. True, true. Um, we were all very, we like to be funny. We like to laugh a lot, um, yeah. the three of us. And we were kind of shoved into a corner together at the events that we would work and yeah. things like that. And we were running the events behind the scenes. So yeah. I think that's kind of what started the bond. You just start doing shows together. That's why, you know, when you're in yeah. theater, when you start doing shows together, mm -hmm. you start bonding. Right. Yeah. Once, you, once you realize you can depend on these people, then you get closer to those people. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that's what happened with you two. Yeah. So, I mean, it was like a whirlwind for all of us because we're such a different backgrounds that we had come from. And right. then we had the exchange at the beginning of 2021. Which I Which. thought was, I thought was epic. Um, we that was really my first big show in, in, in into the EPM machine, and you guys crushed it. And I was happy to have you there. That's for sure. So I thought that helped bring us all, um, closer. And then we had the Broker, Broker Success. Success Summit in March, and that is when I felt like we really started to bond because right. we understood each other then. Right, right. And I had hit a emotional wall, wall huh? at that time, <laughs> yeah. so I couldn't carry like the your, your everything weight my weight yeah so y'all had to kind of like yeah. step in because i was like everything is thrown <laughs> off in my brain uh and y'all were like right yes okay. we're here yeah. <laughs> that vulnerability um vulner vulnerability at that event really is what jailed us together also too yeah. and then we went to orlando and orlando yeah. was like orlando boom. was i think That's the main really thing when we, we were, were traveling yeah. so yeah so we got out of the Sorry. we got out of Atlanta and we were able to see each other in different at uh, atmospheres so we went to orlando and several other places, and each time we, we grew closer and closer. Yeah. And so that's awesome. And now I value both of you guys' input on everything, like so much so I'll pull a dare from lunch. Like, please, please. <laughs> he, he interrupted me the other day and said, I know you're eating chicken, <laughs> I know you're eating. but I need your opinion over here. <laughs> and it is very valuable to me. It's very valuable. I like, yeah. when, when I came on, I told you this, it's, it's for real. When I came on, one of the first things that enticed me to come on board was videos of you um, selling the culture. So you were a culture ambassador even just before we even really started pushing culture. So nice. And I saw it and I was like, she's awesome. <laughs> yeah, and then we just kind of took over yeah. of our roles and really embodied what they right. meant. And then we saw how we worked together. But how many conversations have we had, just us three private somewhere, <laughs> in a corner laughing? A lot. In, in a, empty office, a lot. In a, in and a, we in have a to be, we still have to be professional, but like sometimes we'll be like, can we just like go step yeah, outside? Need we need to go, we need to have some yeah, laughs. Because we love laughing. And it's so fun to like have that dynamic. So it's like we love to hard, like work hard. Right. We yeah. love to like do, we don't want to put, out anything or do anything that is like subpar, right. right? And we all have that like drive to make things the best and to do better. And like you said, yeah. the ex exchange was like a mind blowing event because it was right. the first time that yeah. we had like experienced yeah. that. But then to come full circle a year later and I mean, cause, we've cause done we, crazy things we since have, then. We have. Real talk, they, we, they threw us in. We came in board instantly. Well, my first day, I was on camera, like addressing the entire company. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> were on a town hall. I, I, was, I was like, <laughs> wow. And, <laughs> so and at first, I, 
I'm sorry. No, you're good. At first, I was just Eddie's guy. Right, right. Right? I was just Yeah, you weren't even on our teams at that point. You were Eddie's assistant at that point. Right. And that's and that's what I want to talk about, the glow up. Like, both of you guys have grown, grown. Well, I mean, I know, but I'm talking, so I don't want to talk about me. (laughs) But it's just amazing have you become, like, Brandon, like, anything that comes out of EPM, brand-related, has to go through you. And that's just amazing. That's absolutely amazing. You going up to your chief of staff is amazing. And I'm super happy to be running events right now. So I think we all came a long yeah. way. And I think one of the coolest things about each of us that no one really knows is our ability to stand up for ourselves and for yeah, each for other. Sure. Yeah. Um, and when we see that we are being dogged or somebody's not listening to one of us, like, we'll snap up and say, hey, yeah. you need to listen here. And yeah, yeah. we're a force to be reckoned with, I think. Right. We're a force to be reckoned with on ourselves, but then together, yeah. it's like, we walk in and it's like, whoa, right. you know? Yeah. Like, don't pick on my guys yeah. here, yeah. okay? Yeah. Don't know. pick on them. I think I tell y'all that all the time. Like, I'm like, I love how y'all are willing to be so real um, and so honest and also, like, driven like y'all's drive drives me it makes me feel so connected to the vision and to empowering people more and and right. how we can move forward with this because without you guys it's like how many can i do <laughs> this you know can i do and I, this and i love that you brought up empowering because to me and we've spoke before about how i feel about leadership styles and the fact that all three of us are leaders and lead by example and know our stuff, yeah. it, it really resonates with me and I think it resonates with the rest of the company. No, I agree. Way. And I think you guys both have kind of like taken like a root of your own together as you guys are like on Good Day EPM yeah. and you're yeah, like yeah. hosting Empower Our Lives and all, you know, you guys both are like kind of the driving factors for the culture at EPM, not as a whole, but you guys are kind of like the driving forces of that. But I feel like people need to know that you're right there, usually right on the other side, you're like the, encouraging us there. and like being real with us and like coming up with ideas. Like right. that's what's so wonderful. I, I, I love about all three of us uh, together. Blaine, Blaine and I are running down the beach on, in New Jersey, <laughs> but Adair is like right there with us. <laughs> well, like, literally, literally, we get off the beach and my hair is like, <laughs> yeah, and like nobody sees uh, that every, part of it. Every that. video, she, she's there. She's there. Yeah. And the heart, the heart that we all give and, yeah. and our heart coming into it and, you know, I, it's just a beautiful thing that we get to encourage one another, empower one another um, while we empower the company, too. Um, it feels really good because sometimes I can feel like I have to be alone, right? Mm-hmm. I, I have to be pushed alone, it feels like, right? Um, in my mind, that's how my narrative will tell me. Yeah. But then I am reminded day in and day out that I'm not. And right. y'all are always there on Same. either side of me, holding me. Yeah. Um, and we kind of get to do that for and each we other. Actually, we legit held a dare in one of our business. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. I was gonna bring that up. Maybe that was like the big Maybe, breaking yeah. factor when, when they when they both had to hold me. Oh yeah, she was like, "I'm so closer. heavy," and me and you were like, Phoom. <laughs> "What?" Nobody knows what we're talking about, but it was like a TikTok that we were right, doing, and right. I was on your shoulders, and we were doing the Titanic. Yeah, we were spinning around, and so like Blaine and I are in, in the face, um, in front of the camera a lot of time with the the uh, four core training and stuff like yeah. that. But you are definitely our presence on TikTok and crushing it. <laughs> Thanks, You're the virtual. Yeah. Virtual yeah. Yes, yeah. definitely. <laughs> And so it, it's amazing. Oh, do y'all remember the time that we had to do that virtual happy hour together for the very first time? Very first we time. had it, another teammate who's yeah, no longer yeah. here, but <laughs> yeah. and we just sat there at the table like. I still have that graphic. Like I made a graphic that had all of our names on it, and so I still have it. And I like look at us. We look like babies. We, that was, we look like babies we that was really like nine did. months ago. We really learned that four people on one screen was too much. <laughs> In that moment, we were all sweating. <laughs> like all four, you were definitely right. sweating. <laughs> so yeah, we've had we've had some fun times. Yeah, yeah, but you know, it's awesome because we get to live the four core together. We get to live our fundamentals together, always reminding each other, not in like a you're not doing it kind of way, but you're doing this in this exact moment. You're treasuring you're and promoting it. it. Yeah, you're yeah, embodying exactly. it. You yeah. sh- you're struggling well now. Showing you're the showing the way every day. And um, it's just so wonderful to get to have this opportunity with you guys. And Right. I, um, I post frequently both of you guys on my social media and people respond like, wow, that seems like a great place to work. Yeah. Like, I'm like, not, it's not just a great place to work, but legit. Like, I love Adair and, and Blaine. Adair Z and B Diddy. LA Z and Blaine to me. Just Blaine. LA. I see, you're like that. I just LA and Adair. I don't yeah. have nicknames for y'all. It, it just rolls off the tongue okay. once in a while. I got to change that. <laughs> 
But yeah, I mean, I love it. I post you guys. I post EPM. I'm happy to be part of the team. Like you said, we we struggle well together. We we definitely unified through collaboration. There are times we've gone into a closet and we went in there to giggle and talk, <laughs> but we came out with some awesome content. We did. Yeah, oh we my did. god! Like we the really whole idea did. of the EPM on the streets came up with like right. a single drop of an idea, and we right. were like, right. Right. "Here's right. a whole thing." Same with Good Day EPM. We, yeah. we someone plants a seed, we we water it, and it grows. Yeah. It's like our minds just go. <laughs> we got this. We oh, have look, so many is. ideas. Yeah, yeah. So many. We have them rained it in. We're like, okay, how can we feasibly do this? Right, right, right. We have such a passion and love and heart. I think that's the the, the thing that makes us awesome is the, yeah. the heart. We have so much heart that we Agreed. embody. Um, and we love each other, so it makes it easy. <laughs> I think we're all grateful like that EPM brought us all together because yeah, well, right. it has blossomed like a beautiful friendship for I, all three of us. So. I've said this many times that to me it's important to be a part of a team, and I liken it to uh, a, a team that works well. I liken it to the movie Ocean's Eleven. I'm not sure who, if everyone has seen it, but um, I've always bring it up even if no one has seen it. But it, it pretty much is a group of people that all come together from different walks of life because we are from different walks of life. We're different ages and everything. Um, they come together with their, their own expertise. They come to build a perfect team to pull off the perfect heist. And so, uh, we're go, uh, so they go to Vegas, they pull off the perfect heist because they can depend on each of their teammates to do exactly what they're good at. Yeah. And that's how I feel with you guys. Exactly how I feel about y'all too. And we are so different. We are. We are so different. If you think different. about it, yeah. we're like extremely diverse. Very, yeah. Just us yeah. three in right. general. Yeah, just general. So the fact that we're friends is, I mean, amazing. It is really. amazing. So. And we don't even care. We don't even care the differences. No. We're just like, God, I mean, how many times have we made you uncomfortable? <laughs> but I'll never forget that time that we look back at a dare. She's like, chicken nuggets. Okay, right. that's an inside joke. The chicken nuggets. But those are the things that, those, <laughs> those are the thing that, that bonds us. It makes us work yeah. well as a team. Like, it's, yeah. it's a blame not actually oftentimes seem it's kind of scary we kind of like a hive mind we we respond with the same answers yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. Like, oh. i know <laughs> that's how i feel it's like oh, <laughs> it's but, but i couldn't do this without you I we're the mass I we know, mastermind we the, the, the crap out of this <laughs> <laughs> i was cussed but you know <laughs> i know i love us right. my two knucklehead goonie friends <laughs> <laughs> goon squad